Hey, it's Chris and Margie. We're here at Kings Island. We're here to see everything they have for Halloween Park here at Kings Island. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna take a look and uh, to see everything, food, merchandise, uh, go through and see what mazes they're gonna have and everything like that. But this week one was the first weekend for Halloween Haunt. They started Friday night. Uh, they had it last night. There this is, is that this is Sunday. And she said there isn't one today. I think it's more for the children because they're only open from 11 to 7 today. But we're going to go around and take a look at everything. So just stick with us and we'll see you here in a little bit. Day of the Dead kind of stuff, doesn't Margie? So you got the mariachi, you got these snow globes, and uh, these uh, snow globes that look like like a uh, carousel. Some pumpkins, and then you got this guy here. The other side, got some more of the same Day of the Dead stuff. Oh yeah, with the Frankenstein candle. So they have a t-shirt, must be one of the Mesa's Hotel, St. Michelle. That's what it looks like. So they got some uh, Day of the Dead and Clowns. I think these are probably some of the themed areas that they have here, isn't it? Behind us we have, there's a survive, Survivor Rules, Halloween Haunt, that's the same RG. It says don't feed the monsters, there's no crying at Halloween Haunt, watch out for creepers, you only need to run faster than the slowest person in your group. If you hear a cry for help, it's best not to investigate, remember it could be worse, there could be sharks or tornadoes or both. Don't carve the pumpkin unless you want them to carve you back. Never say I'll be right back. You won't. Never go in the basement. Nothing good happens there. Don't stop to take a selfie. And of course, do not touch the monsters. They will not touch you. It looks like they got some haunt t-shirts that glow in the dark. On this display. Fear is waiting for you. They've got this. Lights. Yeah. Then around the side, they have a display here. All right, so we found some more Phantom Theater merchandise. So Margie, what do we have? We have a Phantom Theater mug. mug. It just says Phantom Theater on it. Can yeah. you see it okay? Yeah. And how much is it? $12.99. Awesome. Up next. They have the plastic water bottle. Plastic water bottle. It has a little handle. And it is $24.99. Right. Next up. They have six different pens. Series one. So. One's missing a back. One's missing a back. <laughs> I don't want to drop that out of there. But they are... $39.99. And then this amazing sweatshirt. Well, you can see the back if you go around. Right, but, how, but I don't know how much how much it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So we'll show you exactly on the mannequin what it looks like. Right there. So they do have some Halloween squishables, or it looks like some of them are Day of the Dead. I believe this is a new Beast t-shirt. This looks amazing. I love 
right? Just claw there. Yeah. Like it. How much is it? Twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So now we have the limited edition Kings Island two thousand twenty three t shirt. I hadn't seen this before, so I wonder if they've been sold out. I don't know how much they are. It is twenty two ninety nine. Twenty two ninety nine. So these are some of the Kings Island ride spirit jerseys. The first one is the Banshee. It says Banshee Kings Island on the back. I don't know if it says anything on the it front. It just has a clover. A clover. I, I can't reach it to and show you. $79.99. Next up is the Mystic Timbers Kings Island. It has like an evergreen. Oh, it has an evergreen on the front of it. I'm assuming it's, it's the also $79.99. Next up we have the Beast t-shirt if i'm right it's got uh the clip oh. prints oh it's footprints yeah. yeah i don't know if you can see that so yeah so and it's 79.99 as well the diamondback spirit jersey it has a cactus and it has a cactus also 79.99 and the orion jersey which looks like it has more of a pattern to it than any of them and you want to see what's on the front of sure. it sure ah it's the constellation oh. of orion and also $79.99 and then the regular just King's Island spirit what do you jersey. Think's on the front of it? The Eiffel Tower. You are correct. I do like this one. Also for $79.99. Like Alright, so they have feature menu, featured items not available after 7 p.m. But they have Fear the Reaper, Full Smoke Chicken Wings, Tossed and Sweet Eat Carolina Reaper sauce. And they have tater balls. The ultimate comfort food, mashed potatoes, cheddar cheese, and green onion, all breaded and fried together, then served with herb ranch sauce. From the Grain and Grill, feature menu, feature item is not available after 7 o'clock. It's from the orchard. Dive into all your favorite fall flavors with this treat, featuring a pumpkin spice waffle, caramel apple, capote, and whipped cream. So right now, they have 30% off all select items from the 50th anniversary. So, everything you see here, 30% off. So over here at Build-A-Bear, they do have the Halloween stuff out here at Kings Island. So outside La Rosa's family pizzeria, we have the artichoke flatbread and the butternut squash flatbread. The artichoke flatbread is artichoke dip baked spinach, mozzarella cheese, and red pepper flakes. And then the butter squash flatbread is roasted squash, mascarpone, is that how we say that, yeah. Green onions, bacon, apple, and feta cheese topped with maple syrup. Okay, so I don't like bacon, but I would definitely try both of them. <laughs> That sounds amazing. And another feature menu. This is outside the sweet spot. We got the Boo Nana, the Brain Bleed, the Hocus Pocus Truffle, uh, Frank Cakes, Howl at the Moon Bark, Mummy Brownies, Spider Whip, Cupcake, and The Undertaker. The Boo Nani, is that anything? Boo Nan. The banana hand dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with your choice of topping and sauce for the perfect personalized spooky treat. Brain believe the cake comes stuffed full of strawberry, barbarian cream, and served a, how do you say that? The pet of strawberry sauce. Focus, focus truffles. You'll be spellbound by these magical confetti cake truffle balls coated with shimmering white chocolate. Frank's cakes, a Frankenstein inspired chocolate cupcake brought to life with cream cheese frosting and cookie crumbs. Howl at the Moon Bar, a collection of goodies coated with chocolate, sure to bring out the wolf in you. We got the mummy brownies, get wrapped up in this decadent chocolate brownie dressed in cream cheese frosting, and the spiderweb cupcake, chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting topped with marshmallow whisk to look like a spiderweb, and the undertaker, a delicious trifle with a layer of chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, and edible dirt topped with gummy worms and a chocolate gravestone to bring you back from the dead. So this must be the undertaker. Yeah. This is the brownie. Okay. This is the um, bark. Okay. And I'm not sure. I can't tell if that's a spider web. I'm thinking it might be. Yeah. It looks like there's something on there. All right. 
Um, I'm not sure what. Is this Frank's cake? Maybe? No. I don't yeah. know. This is the brain bleed. Yeah, this stuff is disgusting. And that's the banana. And that's, a, I think, a, you call it a pipette? Is yeah. that how they call it? I don't know. Unfortunately, we're not able to see it this year. <laughs> Has a Halloween version called the Night Walkers. So once again, it looks like it's going to be Friday and Saturdays. Yeah, PMX, and it's at Friday and Saturdays, and the different times are right there. We have another feature menu. This is outside of the All About the Food at the food truck. We got the Evil Step Twins, the Burnt End, and Mac. Missing fingers. The first off is the Evil Step Twins hamburger sliders topped with pickled jalapeno, pepper jack cheese, onions, and garlic aioli. aioli. Burnt end and burnt end and mac. It says it's smoked brisket, burnt end top, tossed in honey barbecue glaze, and served fried mac and cheese balls. And then the missing fingers is provolone cheese and a wonton wrap fried and served with a creamy green goddess sauce. So over here at the Snoopy Boutique, we have the Vampire Snoopy plush. He costs what, Margie? Um, $26.99. Margie is holding the Woodstock, Woodstock Witch. Witch. She costs same price probably yeah i've got uh that's it they also have a sweatshirt the happy halloween sweatshirt that's just on the front there's yeah. nothing on the back and the cost is 54.99 54.99 we have the snoopy holding the pumpkins the pumpkins plush you'll have to see 12.99 they do have this little kid shirt yeah it's glow in the dark. Feeling fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And the price? Oh, I forgot. Sixteen ninety nine. They do have Snoopy ears with <laughs> the lining on the inside. Our pumpkins. And stars and blue. That did not sound good. Nope. And they are twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Do they have anything on around? Uh -oh. Well, these are just. Oh, they're just different uh, Lego kits. We have another feature menu. We have the Missouri Jane and the La La Rona. How do you say that, Marty? La La Rona. La 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 Rona. I don't know. So on the Missouri Jane, they got the sweet potato fries topped with shredded beef brisket, barbecue sauce, cheese sauce, and green onions. On the La 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 Rona, handcuffed fries loaded with al pastor pork. Charred pineapple, pickled red onions, jalapeno, and cilantro lime crema. So this is one of the mazes. They usually have the uh, skull and crossbones to tell you that this is one of the haunted mazes. And this maze, as you can see right there, is Madame Fatale's Catherine Terror. Mark's going to read exactly what this is. One second. tragic to share. Beware as you navigate through this Halloween maze of oddities, or you might be visiting for longer than you'd like. So we found one sign and it's pointing to where the entrance is, and it's Hotel St. Michel. And it says, everyone has heard about the haunting tales of the old Hotel St. Michel, but are they true? 
As you sneak into the abandoned hotel, named after the manager's missing daughter, you eerily find out the hotel is not abandoned, but very alive in spirit. So up next we have the Kill Mart. Oh. Are you prepared to survive supply shopping in a post-apocalyptic world is risky business, but this particular grocery store is cutting costs down to the bone. <laughs> Alright, the next maze we have is Alien Abyss. The Department of Alien Research has been security crossbreeding two aggressive life forms. Their goal to develop a biological weapon in the event of future warfare. When civilians are invited to tour the research compound, something goes terribly wrong. The only way to exit the compound is to move forward, but they are being followed. And where are the new life forms? So if you do come here and you don't want the scare actors to jump at you, you can buy one of these, uh, I guess, lanyards. And uh, it tells them not to scare you for $15.99. It's a little kitty with a witch hat on. Last year with a skull. So another featured menu. We have the El Dia de los Muertos tamales and the apple and sausage empanadas. The El Dia de los Muertos tamales, traditional tamales, filled with corn and green chili and served with the Diablo sauce. The apple sausage and, and it, or apple and sausage empanadas, Italian sausage. How do you say that? I don't know how you say that. Brayer, cheese and pears and a flaky crust with the balsamic aioli. I would show you that. So they have what's called the Rotten Gourd and they have drinks. Which are what? The cup they look like IVs, don't they? they look like blood bags, yeah. You wanna look? They're the blood bag. I can't hear you. Yeah. It says the blood bag of positively something delicious. Pixie potion, zombie juice, purple peach. Then they got the walk the flank of fair and blood. Screaming banshee and rotten to the core. Alright, so this haunted kind of maze is cornered. It says, trespassers beware. The farmers don't take kindly to uninvited guests. Don't get caught or you might just become a permanent part of this field. When the farmer's away, the scarecrows will play. The fire in the house was only the beginning. So here's another out. maze. There wasn't really a sign for it, but this is where the slaughterhouse is, probably through these doors. They don't have a lot of these mazes open. They'll be open probably next weekend, Friday and Saturday. But it said some select Sundays. Yeah. So. It says sick of paying too much for the perfect cup. Well, then come on down to the Rivertown Butcher and see how we're slashing more than just our prices. Well, there you go. That's slaughterhouse. Right, here's a featured menu. We have beekeeper, which is pot pie, beside and roll up. The beekeeper is this grilled cheese is the bee's knees complete with honey apple butter cheddar cheese bacon on crispy sourdough the witch's pot pie whole chicken simmered in a cream sauce with vegetables and topped with a flaky crust the poseidon roll up is shrimp crab ricotta and chives rolled in lasagna noodles and topped with old bay spice alfredo sauce I forgot her. Oh. and the santa fe chicken chili shrimp crab, ricotta, and chives rolled in lasagna and noodles and topped with Old Bay Spiced Alfredo Sauce. What's, what was the difference between that and the Poseidon roll Is there something different? I'm trying to read it. It doesn't, no, not really. No. Huh. There you go. All right, so that's gonna do it. Uh, that was the updates. And I know there's some of it that's still not out. So, but we caught as much as we possibly can. This is the first weekend for it. So I'm thinking uh, when they start get going, we're gonna come back and we're gonna live stream the whole thing. But other than that, I think that's gonna do it. What do you think, Marge? I think it'll be good. Yeah, I think it'll be awesome. So we'll see you guys later. I hope to catch you on our next adventure. Bye.